God, you want to talk about God, Swedenborg was able to get not just the feeling of what it's like to be affected by God, but also to record details of how God works, what God is looking for, what God is trying to do, um, some of the personality aspects of God, and some of the, the the essence or underlying characteristics of God. So rather than me try to lay it out uh, by talking more, it's probably already getting tough uh, for you guys, let's see a little, like a, this is a, an overview, flyover of some key points about God from Swedenborg's writings. Did you notice about the middle, it said, God is the essential person, which is a, perhaps the least intuitive to interpret of all of those. But what it means, essentially, is God is not just these attributes, but God is also a person, it's somebody that we can relate to. And actually, we are people because God is, that we are sort of echoes and the, the outermost vibrations of God, so that we're, we're copies of God, not like we're making God in our own image, you know? So that's just a little bit about the, the basics, but Swedenborg did have some very specific details about God, even down to what we're going to investigate here, which is, like I said, almost a personality trait, that God is all-accepting. God is never mad at us. This is True Christianity 56, where Swedenborg is actually on the offensive against people in his day who were teaching that God is furious with us. He says, from these few points, you can see how insane people are who think that God can condemn anyone, curse anyone, throw anyone into hell, predestine anyone's soul to eternal death, avenge wrongs, or rage against or punish anyone. People are even more insane if they actually believe this, let alone teach it. In reality, God cannot turn away from us or even look at us with a frown. To do any such thing would be against his essence, and what is against his essence is against himself. 